guess this is it. Back whenever I started running again in April, I was doing like maybe three, five miles a week. It's like, there's no way I'm running this cross country season. And if I do, it's not going to be fast at all. But here we are. This is the end of the Learning to Run series. It's such a like landmark moment for me because I don't know, it was just a big part of my life. And the journey that I had this summer, impeccable. I can't wait for the rest of this cross country season. Let's roll the tape. Okay guys, I know it's been a while. I haven't posted in like a month, but uh, we got a race tomorrow. I've been training, been staying consistent. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're about to hit some free race, probably 400s. Don't, I don't really know yet, but definitely something a little bit quicker so that we can get used to that changing pace and staying at race pace because we haven't really done a lot of that stuff. But I'm, I'm feeling great. I think that uh, I, I'm going to have a great season this year as long as I stay injury free. But yeah, I haven't posted in a little bit because of school. It's been kind of overwhelming me, but hopefully that will balance out and I'll be able to keep producing videos. I have a lot of good ideas, but it's just now is not a good time to record them or edit them. But yeah, we're about to go to the track and I'll see you then, I guess. Unfortunately, we lost a little bit of footage, but pretty much we did a 1.25 mile warm up. This is the workout right here. And yeah, so it was pretty good. Okay, so we just finished the pre-race. We ended up doing uh, 1,000 at about 5.10-ish pace. Then we did a three-minute interval at about a 5.10-ish pace. And then we did a, a 600 or two minutes. So that was also about a 5.10-ish pace. So I'm feeling fit. I wore the Nike Vaporfly Cross Countries. They're really good. They're really bouncy. They're literally cheating. But, yeah, I'm really hyped for tomorrow. Or I guess it's not tomorrow. 36 hours uh, we had the race. So I'm really hyped for that. And my boy Tristan, Tristan did well, and Jack did the workout on his own, but yeah, we're just just really excited. This is my first school race in like a year. I didn't race in track, so I'm just really excited to what, for what I can do. Uh, okay guys, we're on our way to the race right now. Um, last night we went to the football game and I did like two miles for a shakeout. Uh, yeah, so I'm kind of tired but it's not going to be too bad because I still got at least eight-ish hours. So yeah, and the rest, well, some of the team did not get any sleep at all because they had to go kidnap for cotillion. So we're going to see how that goes, but hopefully this can be my race. Hopefully. Jack, how do you feel about today's race? Um, I'm feeling good about it. I am. Do you feel like well rested? Or like, do you think that you prepared well for this? I can't say I'm well rested. I think I got an hour and 37 minutes of sleep last night according to my watch. So I'm not well rested, but I think hopefully I'm well rested enough to go out here and do my best. Thank you. Okay. So we're on the warm up right now. I uh, got David, Alex, Fisher, and Peyton. And cameraman will. Uh, so it's a tough course. We have to go through this really narrow path four times, and when you go around it the second time, you have to run into other people. So definitely not going to make for a fast time at all. And I think this race, I just really need to focus on my kick and work on getting better at sticking to that pace and then moving up at the end. This race is a season opener, so it's a learning experience. I don't really need to go all out in this race. I do need to go all out, but I don't need to be peaked. So, yeah, it won't be too bad. I think a reoccurring theme that's gonna, that you're going to see in each of these videos is that I'm going to be doing a voiceover more often. Like, uh, okay, so at th this point, I'm in like fifth place, and I am... It's about 800 meters in, and 
I'm low key feeling it, but not too bad. And the, the people in front of me went out way too hard. Okay, so we're coming around, went through the Ivy Needle the second time, and Jackson Lee, Tristan, Trey, and Dallas is in front of them, and I'm way behind them, like way behind them. And yeah, at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm not winning this race. There's no way. Or I'm not even getting in the top three. And look, there's Jack. Jack is miles ahead of everybody. Then um, there's Tristan, Trey, yeah, Tristan. and then I tried. I did this time yeah, lapse right here just so that you can see how far back I am. Like, look at that. That's like an unbearable great. gap. And at this point, we have maybe 800 meters left. Here's Jack. I just want to say my kick in this race was so freaking good. The last 400 definitely was like a 410. On, Ended up catching those two of them, and Tristan beat me. So I got third place in a time of 11:03. And officially, and I was really, really happy with that. That's what's up. I got it. Let's go. Uh, small. Congratulations. Thank you. Light work. Let's go, Jack. First place, baby. We're about to go collect our trophy. Let's go. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Um, this today, it's right as I'm recording. This is actually still the day of the race, so I got this video out to you guys quickly. Um, yeah, I couldn't be more happy. I ran 11:03 unofficially. I haven't seen the miles split official time yet, but yeah, 11:03 unofficially. I was expecting like an 11:20. So now I know I'm fit. Um, I'm excited for this cross country season. Um, definitely gonna break 17 this year. Uh, want to get as low into the 16s as possible. Ideally around like 1640ish. Um, but yeah, can't we can't do it all in one, at one time. We just gotta keep on, keep on, keep it on. Go on that steady increase like my Strava, Strava mileage arc. Yeah, so I just gotta stay focused, stay injury free, stay committed. And that's it. Like and subscribe.